Hello, Karen the Boss Steven, CEO of LMP Records. And today I'm just going to give you a quick tip of how to insert hardware in your door. Um, typically I use Pro Tools, so I'll show you using Pro Tools today. And this is the method I use when I'm not using an analog desk. So I have a simple way that I route all my um, analog gear into my Pro Tools session using inserts. It's simple, as long as you have your interface, um, you have more than two or four sets of ins and outs. The most important thing is that they need to be on the same input and output from your audio interface. So here I have a warm audio which I typically use in my vocals. Um, so simple, I just go into Pro Tools and I have my IO setup here. So you see I have my interface. Okay, so on my inserts, you can see there. So I have my safe sound compressor, I have my other um, tube compressor. If I go into here, see I have my AA76, which is my warm audio 76. So from there, I could just go in on my vocal chain and just go insert, and then I have here my AA76. I insert this here and it's on my vocal channel and if I play my vocal and I come back down here you see I have movement there inserted okay and you can see on my interface it's here the most important thing is on insert 5 6 so it's going out of 5 and it's coming back on 5 that's the only way it works they have to correspond right um, one tip I will give you is if you have one compressor using the multiple tracks in here in the notes in Pro Tools I just um, put the notes of what my attack release my threshold gain makeup I just place it here in my notes so if I come back to this project in in a month two months time I know exactly what compression settings I had on my vocals so yes yeah, it's, it's, it's a simple process hope that helps for all the guys who ask me how I use it when I don't use a analog mixer.